Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, I have a couple of Grenaches here, uh, both from the same winery, Willunga 100 in McLaren Vale, and uh, the difference between them is, I think it's to do with age of vines. Um, I think the, the, the one that is called The 100, as opposed to the one that just says Willunga 100 on, I, I think it's made from vines that are up to 80 years old or something like that, but uh, uh, you'll be able to find, there'll be references on the screen or on YouTube or somewhere where you can find out all about them. But they're both 2013 vintage and they're both 14.5% alcohol. So this is the first one, Willunga 100 Grenache 2013. Soft, gentle, spicy, a little bit of jamminess, but it's not gone into that uh, jammy dodger that um, uh, Grenache can do in, uh, uh, in, in, I've certainly seen it in, in South Australia, nor has it picked up too much of the eucalyptus. I, I, I find that sometimes the minty edge in, in Grenache from South Australia, it's not something I jump up and down about. It smells like it's going to be... Um, there's a freshness about it. I don't think either of these has seen um, has, has seen oak barrels. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I think that the idea is just buoyant, bouncy fruit. Let's see whether that's so. Yeah, there's a spring in its step. Um, there's an earthiness, fresh berries, strawberry, maybe a little bit of um, strawberry and apple pie, blackberries, um, spice. And, uh, there's a slight hard edge there that I'm not quite sure where, whether I'm all that fond of it. Um, almost feels like a wine that, um, when you see, I've, I've just undone the screw cap, so it may just be that it needs a little bit of time to, uh, uh, to blossom. So um, uh, I like it, and I like that red berry edge, but yeah, just that slight hard edge on the finish at the moment, and it may be that the wine round it uh, emerges to, uh, to flesh that out. But um, for the moment, hmm, good rather than great. Uh, next one, so this is The Hundred. And um, same alcohol, same vintage, um, but just older vines. There's a heartier, sweeter aroma here, and um, maybe a little bit more floral character. Um, so there's the, yes, there's the, the jam, uh, the, the red berry jam. Maybe the first one with more raspberry, this is more strawberry. And, uh, but it doesn't smell like it's going to be uh, more intense. It just smells, uh, yeah, a little, little bit more fragrant and uh, a little bit more going on in there. Uh, more flavours rather than the same flavours louder. And I noticed more of the soil there. There's some, I'm not sure where they are in, in McLaren Vale, but there's like a, a, a ferrous edge going on there. Juicy, rich. Um, I'd say the same thing about the finish. Uh, this slight hardness that uh, that, that comes through, uh, it may just be that the, the, they're desperately young and they need to flesh out past there, but for the moment, I like the flavours, um, and um, so maybe maybe I'll come back to them and, uh, and, and see whether they have emerged past there, because um, good flavours just... Mm. Hey, see you soon.